today we'll be discussing about the OSI model. OSI model stands for Open System Interconnection. The OSI model is a theoretical stack of seven layers that we can use to understand how networks communicate. Uh, with that said, the seven layers are the following um, from uh, bottom to top. Okay, Layer 1, it's the physical layer. Uh, layer 2 is our data link layer. Layer 3 is the network layer. Layer 4 is the transport layer. And now we have the session layer. We have the presentation layer. And then we have the application layer. We don't actually use the OSI model. It is just a logical model as to how networks are supposed to communicate to each other. What we actually use is something called TCP IP model. The concepts are exactly the same, but the layers are slightly different. Today, our discussion will focus on the sender's point of view. So to begin with, we have to start at the application layer. The application layer is the closest layer to the end user. Uh, it is where the end user interacts with different types of application uh, to either send a text file, a video over the, the, the network. Application can be your Facebook Messenger. It can also be any of the uh, web browsers on your screen. Uh, it can be Google Chrome, it can be Mozilla, it can be Firefox, it can be Opera, it can be Brave. Aside from web browsers, it can also be your Outlook. Uh, you use this to send and receive emails. Or Skype, now, this is just one of the applications that you can use uh, to make and receive uh, phone calls over the internet. You can even do video call using Skype. We also have Microsoft Teams. Uh, you use Microsoft Teams to conduct virtual training or online training. So in this example, we are going to use the uh, Facebook Messenger. Let's say uh, we have the sender. Okay, on, on your right, the topmost, you have your sender. It's, it's connected to the internet. And yes, this globe represents the internet. And then we also have the receiver that is also connected to the internet. So using the Facebook Messenger application, I want to type something like, Hi, I'm learning the OSI model. When I hit send on the Facebook Messenger app, what happens to that actual data, the, the actual text that I just typed in, is it will get forwarded to the presentation layer. The presentation layer converts the received uh, data from the application layer into neat binary. Binary is a base two number system. It is made up of only two numbers, and it's one and zero. Um, your presentation layer is also responsible in compression and decompression of your actual data. So looking at the actual data, uh, as an example, it has a capacity or a file size of uh, 2,000 bytes. Presentation layer will, decom will compress it to 1,700 bytes. So it would make it easier for... Uh, the network to send this uh, packet over the, the network. The presentation layer will also make sure that your actual data is protected by encrypting it. So it is responsible in encryption and de decryption of your actual data. The next layer after the presentation layer is the session layer. The session layer is responsible in uh, opening, maintaining, and terminating a session. So in this example, again, going back to the image uh, at the top, you have your sender connected to the Facebook server. Of course, what you do before you can use the app is to log in to Facebook, 
then assuming you have the correct credentials you have the correct username and password now you have uh, now you are connected to the Facebook server as well as our receiver our receiver is also logged into Facebook Messenger so the uh, blue and the black circle represents uh, a session between sender and the Facebook server and then the receiver and the Facebook server so at this time our session layer is just maintaining the session so after the presentation layer your actual data gets forwarded to the transport layer the transport layer is responsible on how big a block of information is going to be sent to the network so as you can see the actual data has been divided into two those two actual data is now encapsulated it is in the lay it it is in this layer rather where encapsulation first happens encapsulation simply means adding of headers or trailers in our example headers are being added so after encapsulation the data is now called segment the packets can take different routes to reach its destination they don't necessarily reach the destination in order hence sequence number will help the receiver reassemble the packets received from the network layer layer 4 is also responsible in choosing port numbers so if the if the IP address is the exact address of your house think of port numbers as your letterbox when the postman comes your letterbox can be put through the letterbox okay so again when the postman comes your letters can be put through the letterbox the letterbox gives the postal service access to your house there are two types of port numbers and these are TCP and UDP we will have a separate discussion about TCP and UDP uh, for now you have to know that port number ranges from 0 to 65,535 a port number is an application specific or process specific construct serving as a communication endpoint on a device's operating system you can look up the port number of an application via Google as for our example the Facebook Messenger uh, uses port number 3478 and port number 40,002 so the transport layer as mentioned it divided our actual data if you can remember the actual data has a file size of 1700 bytes it has div it divided it into two first piece uh, has a size of 1500 bytes while the second piece has a size of 200 bytes um, going back the uh, rule when the data gets divided into pieces um, it must be between the actual data must be between 46 bytes to 1500 bytes that is what we call the maximum transmission unit okay so the maximum transmission unit must be between 46 bytes to 1500 bytes so these segments okay um, after the transport layer it gets forwarded down to the network layer in the network layer farther encapsulation happens that means additional headers are again being added in front of the segment and these headers are the destination IP and the source IP so let's not forget at the network layer logical addressing happens hence the headers are source IP and destination IP when it's now encapsulated at the network layer your segments are now called datagram your datagram will then again uh, be forwarded to the next layer which is the data link layer at the data link layer physical addressing happens it has something to do with switching or MAC addressing with that said um, since further encapsulations happens at the data link layer headers that are added in front of the datagram are the source MAC 
and the destination MAC address. When the source MAC and destination MAC address has been added, your datagram is now called frames. Now your frames will be then again forwarded to the next layer and the next layer, which is the first layer of the OSI model, is the physical layer. In the physical layer, you can find, this is where you can find your physical medium that you use to make your network communication work, such as the network hub, or your network interface controller card, or your wireless access point, or even your Ethernet cable. So let's see what happens when the frame gets forwarded to the physical layer. When it gets forwarded to physical layer, it simply becomes a streams of ones and zeros. So that's it for today about the OSI model in the sender's uh, point of view. I'll make another video uh, for about the OSI model in uh, the receiver's uh, point of view. Thank you for watching this video.